My name is Brian Skeel. I'm a composer and sound designer, and this is my game audio and FMOD implementation demo reel for the open source game Q2, Sour Breath. In this demo, I wanted to focus on creating an adaptive music system that changed based on the action, so we'll be exploring that in great length. But first, we'll look at how I organized my workflow for this project, as well as a behind-the-scenes look at some of the sounds I designed for this demo. To begin, I built an inventory of all the sounds I would need to create for the game using Google Sheets. I focused on creating the sounds of the player, convincing weapons, a couple of monsters, and a few other objects in the game. All the sound effects were created in Pro Tools, but before I created a single sound, I color-coded my session to coincide with my sheet. I also set up markers to quickly navigate between each sound. All sounds were created via a combination of existing sounds from my library, my own Foley and field recordings, synthesis of new sounds using software instruments, and professional voice acting. Oh, that one tastes like french fries. The player sounds needed to convince whoever is playing the game that they are manipulating a very powerful character. I wanted him to be a big, burly dude that sounds like he can wear heavy armor. So for the footsteps, I recorded a combination of heavy boots on a concrete floor, a heavy bag to simulate the player's armor, and vocalizations of my own. To make the voice convincing, I wanted it to sound like it was resonating in a protective helmet. So after processing the vocals that I had performed by pitching them down slightly, lowering the formants, and adding subtle compression, I ran those vocals into a Bluetooth speaker that I had placed in a plastic bin and then recorded the output. In FMOD, these sounds were placed into a multi-instrument along with the footstep and armor foley to be implemented into the game. I also ran the footsteps to one reverb to simulate the sound of the open space of the map and the player vocal sounds to another reverb to make it even more convincing that the sounds were resonating inside a helmet. For the ogre's fireball, I blended together several elements. I lit, downpitched, and distorted the sound of me lighting several matches at once, vocalizing a fireball sound, adding some stock fire sounds, using my own voice again to create the initial lighting of the fire, and an electronic kick drum to give the whole thing some weight. All together and placed in game, it sounds like this. With the weapons, it was important to me to have variation within the sounds. I wanted to avoid having them sound repetitive. My solution was to separate the sound of each gun into a few different elements, build a few sounds for each element, and then randomize those files for variation. For example, with the shotgun, I have the initial shotgun blast, the shotgun cocking, and the shells hitting the floor. Three sounds were created for each of these elements. In FMOD, I created a multi-instrument for each element, which will randomize every time the sound is played. For added variation, some slight pitch and volume randomization was added to each element. Now every time the event is triggered, a new shotgun sound is constructed, adding realism to the sound. I wanted the player to feel incredibly anxious when their health was low. I designed an alert sound that will play whenever that happens. In FMOD, when the health parameter is less than or equal to 25, not only will the alert play, but the higher frequencies will be filtered down on the music and all the sound effects except for the player's voice. Here is that in action. The sounds of the environment itself are also very important to immerse the player into the game. It needed to feel like the player was exploring and fighting in a giant industrial foundry. For example, there's a huge gear in the center of the map powering a mill. This needed to feel absolutely huge, mechanical, and rhythmic. For this, I recorded various sounds of a weight machine and a coffee grinder and blended that with a stock sound of a large industrial fan. Mixed together, it sounds like this. Now let's talk about the music. 
I created three separate musical ideas, one for exploration of the map, one for combat, and a third as a fanfare for when the level has been beaten, all of which were created in Cubase. The exploration music needed to feel grimy, mechanical, and futuristic, so I used lots of synthesizers and drums with heavy distortion. I wanted the exploration music and combat music to share similar musical ideas or motifs, so I came up with this phrase, knowing I'd borrow from it later. The combat music I wrote continues with a mechanical and futuristic feel, but the bulk of the music is centered around distorted eight-string guitars, pounding drums, and searing lead synths. Just like the player sounds and the weapon sounds, I also wanted the music to have some variation. So I came up with several riffs, some long and some short, and put them all in a multi-instrument in F mod to create some randomization. So now when the player is in combat, they will hear the music cycle randomly between all the riffs I had created, making an ever-evolving soundtrack that will make the gameplay slightly different each time it is played. The final bit of music that I wrote for this level is a short fanfare to conclude the combat sequence, which will inform the player they can let their guard down. For now. In F mod, I designed an adaptive music system. It begins with the exploration music, which will loop until a monster notices the player. When this happens, the monster threat parameter will increase, which will transition the playhead from the exploration music to the combat music. When the monster threat parameter is set back to zero, the playhead will go back to the exploration loop. Since I set the tempo in this FMOD event to match the tempo of the music, I was able to quantize the transition so that it would stay on the pulse. This makes it feel like the player is listening to a single piece of music that changes as the gameplay changes. To end the music, I added a transition region to the fight sequence that moves the playhead to the fanfare destination when the monster's left parameter is set to zero. Thank you so much for checking out my game audio and FMOD implementation demo reel. For more examples of my work, please visit my website, brianskeel.com.